Hi guys, um, this is a little bit of a different kind of Q&A. Um, as you can see, I'm doing two things this time. I'm not sitting in front of my camera, I'm sitting in front of my webcam. And it's, it looks really dark in here, but I've actually got two lights on. And it looks like I'm just sat in front of a, a screen in the pitch black. So, um, I have now bought some lights, which means my videos are going to get a lot better. Um, so that's why I haven't done this Q&A in my traditional sense, because I, uh, I just couldn't handle not having the lighting anymore. My last video was just so frustrating to edit. So, okay. What I'm going to do is do a real-time drawing. I have taken inspiration from um, Bailey and Chrissy, and you should know who Bailey is. Um, and if you don't know who Chrissy is, I'll put her link in the description. You should go check her out. And um, they do like real-time Q&As. And um, I thought I would do some real-time drawing whilst answering uh, your Q&As from the last video. So, if you're new to my Q&As, what I do is I answer the questions that were asked in the last month's video. So, if you want to ask me anything at all, ask it away in the comment section below this video and it will be answered in the next one, depending on how many I get, because now I'm starting to get quite a few questions. So, if you want your question to be noticed, hashtag it ask jelly which was a suggestion by the brilliant Karen E. Haley um if you don't know who he, she he, he is she is check her out as well um and thanks Karen for giving me that idea um yeah so if you want any questions answered that you think might have not been asked before just put them in the comment section and hashtag it ask jelly I might miss questions otherwise because I have done in the past so anyway getting on um, I'm going to be tracing and inking one of my own drawings. Um, I sketched it digitally and I'm going to show you, you're going to see on this camera, um, exactly what I'm doing. But it's going to be in real time, which is kind of weird, but I'm not going to do the whole thing because there's going to be one half where I'm going to do the inking in the background whilst answering the questions and then the colouring and the rest of the video will be a speed paint later this week. So you're probably wondering exactly what this is and this is a package that was sent to me. Um, their name on, I know the name on Twitch and it's Fire Dawn Leaf Pool, I think. Fire Dawn Leaf Pool. And um, yes, so they sent me this package in the post. Um, I do have a PR box which is this and you can check it out in my channel if you want to send me anything. You don't have to, obviously don't have to send me anything um but yeah I was very kind to it was very nice to receive this um and I love this chevron stuff it's just so nice makes a nice noise so I'm going to check this out and I know that they wanted me to open it on video so here we go oh my gosh there's so much stuff in here jeez first of all thank you so much for all this stuff wow Oh my gosh, you're not even going to see my face. I'm sorry, you can't really see my face that well. So this one says, remember when I asked you pretzels or toffee or of toffee? Got some great ASMR noises going on there as well. Ooh. For a bad day? <gasps> oh my gosh. I've got a letter there as well. It's so tiny. Ooh. <laughs> this one. For a gardeny day. Oh. I'm excited now. So let me read this. So there's their information at the bottom. Let's go check them out. Oh my gosh, this is so precious. <laughs> is that, oh my god, look, is that Peridot? Is that Peridot and Bumble? Peridot and Bumble and a bee and me and a bee and Pixel. Oh my gosh. And I like the jumper as well. And it's sparkly. Like you can see that. <gasps> Oh my god, this is going to go on my wall of awesome. It was my cork board of awesome. Um, I'll give you a quick look. And I'm kind of saving the most m majority of it for my um, workstation tour. But this is my wall of awesome where I like pin stuff that I've been sent. Um, not all of the stuff I've been sent is on here, but the majority of it. And stuff that I've bought and presents and stuff. So... Um, Yes, that's going to go up on there. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is amazing. Like, I'm so glad that, like, I'm inspiring you to do stuff and getting you hooked on, 
on things and oh wow ah oh, thank you so much it's so sweet i'm gonna put it straight off oh, i'll put it behind bobby cup for now because i need some blue tack so let's open these oh my god for a gardeny day that's it i like this tape it's really nice i am the worst at christmas right i take forever to open That is so beautiful! Wow, guys, look at that! Well, I suppose, yeah, like, there's no point in me showing it into both cameras, but I'll do it anyway. You can't even see it in that camera, so yeah, so it'll stick with this camera. Wow, this colour is gorgeous, like this antique bronze sort of colour. Oh, that's so nice! I'm gonna wear it now. I'm not very good at doing my own lobster clasps. Whew. Yay! <laughs> you can see it. Oh my gosh, thank you! <laughs> oh my gosh! <gasps> oh my god! Okay, I'm not doing upside down. Look at this! Oh my god! He is tiny! Oh my gosh, he's so sweet and he's like my Nendoroid! But, there's my Nendoroid. And look, it's little mini me! For a bad day? Oh, this one was easier to open. Maybe... Ooh, <gasps> chocolate, oh my god, oh no, look at that, I have to hide that from Ryan, oh, oh my god, look at those, oh my, milk chocolate covered toffee bits, oh dear, they, these are going to be eaten very fast, let me shout Ryan, yeah, the, the, the mine, thanks, alright, you're dismissed, you're not having any of these. I'm having so, all of those. I just thought I'd show you. Thanks. So, seriously, thank you so much. Like, wow. Oh my God, what have I done to deserve all of that? That's crazy. Thank you so much. Like, just an honor to just be doing this and then getting such nice rewards like that. It's just crazy. But, yes, thank you. And I'm glad I waited to open it on video now. So. <laughs> Because I promised I'd do it on video. Okay, so in terms of the drawing, um, this is my drawing. And I did sketch it and ink it and do a lot of things to it already. So let me show you my progress. This drawing has already taken quite a few forms. And um, you might, if, you've, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this piece. Um, it started out as thumbnail sketches in my sketchbook and yeah so this is my sketchbook that I keep all my sketches in um, which I will be selling copies of um, every month on Patreon if you're interested but yeah so it started out as this sketch and then I did this one and I quite like this pose so I took some computer paper and did this one but I wasn't really happy with it and then I did that one and if you're wondering what I'm sketching with it's a Palomino Blackwing which I got as a gift from someone, I call him Dexter, but he's not called Dexter, and you can change the eraser. He's not called Dexter, but I call him Dexter. Um, and this was a present as well, um, so thank you so much, because it is beautiful. And uh, it's just like, I don't like traditional pencils, but this is just stunning. Like, the difference in weight is just... Anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, I did these two. And then I trace this one onto Copic Express It with my Pentel brush pen. But I've been looking at this for weeks and I've just, well not weeks, like days. And I was just not impressed, not impressed with it at all. Um, so I decided to scrap it and I went back to my original thumb, which was this one. And so I did this very quick sketch and then realised I'd sketched him too low on the page. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to scan it into Photoshop. I did and um, scanned it into Photoshop and traced over my sketch. Um, by the way, the pose that Link is in, I will give a link in the description because um, I had to Google like wolf poses. Um, I'm not very good at drawing dogs. I used to be better, but I'm not anymore. Um, and so, yes, yeah, so got Wolf Link, Midna, and I wanted it to be quite like serene, like very twilight, um, twilight realm. 
and so we've got Harold Castle in the background. So yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do is trace this now. I have a lighter version. I'm going to trace this with my light box because I haven't used it much yet. And I'm tracing it onto, I'm not doing Copic ex Express it because I'm going to do half the piece. It's going to be multimedia piece. Winsor Newton Smooth Surface Cartridge Pad. And I've had this paper for a while. Um, I got it cheap. I uh, don't use it very often. I think someone's had most of the paper. Like, I'm, I'm down to four sheets of it. It's not something I go out and buy a lot. Um, I don't want it to shift, so I'm going to use a bit of masking tape to keep the two pieces together. We'll just see how far I get, and then the rest will be entirely filmed with... Um, as a speed paint. Okay, so the first question, um, two questions are from Claire, and they say, "What's your favourite Pokeball? And what's your who's your favourite Harry Potter character?" So my favourite Pokeball is a Quick Ball. I also quite like Dusk Ball. Yeah, and my favourite Harry Potter character is um, probably Hermione. It used to be Harry. But I think that was more because I was just, like, obsessed with him. But now I think it's Hermione because she just, she's just so, I don't know. She's just, like, exactly what I was like growing up. I was such a Hermione. Okay, next question. What's your favourite hair colour that you've done and what colour will you do next? I am going to stay pink. And pink is my favourite colour that I've ever been I did enjoy being teal and pink. That was fun. Um, but it was too hard to maintain. How do you discover the Pentel pocket brush? I um, I was doing research on brush pens because um, I really just wanted to just bite the bullet and get into brush pens. And that one came up. Um, and I was like, yeah, I've heard about it. I've heard it's really good. And uh, I just bought it. So, <laughs> um, and how are you? I'm good, Jesse. How are you? Nikki says, if you could only save one show from being terminated and can't live without it, which would it be? Steven Universe or Legend of Korra? Well, seeing as Legend of Korra's finished, I'd save Steven Universe from being terminated. <laughs> Karen E. Henley says, if you need a suggestion for finding the questions, here's an idea. Thank you, Karen. Um, again, if you want to ask a question for next month, do hashtag it ask jelly. When you draw, but have no ideas, what do you do to get inspired? I tend to, I actually have an art block folder on my computer. And, um, that helps. That helps mostly when I'm having like a style crisis, um, rather than art block or like creative ideas. I tend to listen to music that inspires me to get inspiration. Things like Journey, the OST for Journey, Akami, um, and Zelda, they really help. Madison Cahill says, which non-canon ship do you like more, Amadot or Lapidot? Two, do you prefer pastels or neons? And three, what words would you use to describe your art? Number one, uh, Amadot. Straight up Amadot. <laughs> Like, I love that ship. Like, seriously. I don't really ship lapis with anyone. Not even Jasper. Do I prefer pastels or neons? I completely love pastels. Pastels are my life. Just everything. Pastels. I do like neons, but if I had to pick, it's definitely pastels. What words would you use to describe your art? Developing. <laughs> Carissu asked... Who was your first OTP? Um, if I'm thinking like way back, like way, 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 way back, um, probably first time I was kind of aware of shipping. Um, it was probably, embarrassingly enough, Harry and Hermione. Um, this was like Prisoner of Azkaban time, um, but then I soon changed to a Ron Hermione shipper in Goblet of Fire. <laughs> Favourite Animal Crossing character, Isabel. That is just, like, so easy. Isabel, straight up, completely. And then Tia. 
Um, this is a double question. So where did you study art and where did you go from college? It would help me a lot seeing as I'm doing BTEC level three. Um, I went to study um, animation at the University of Sunderland. Um, I didn't enjoy my experience very much. didn't enjoy it one bit. I could touch about that in a completely different time, but it's it's touchy subjects. <laughs> Pal Pal D says, do you think you're going to draw a tiny peridot now? I already have. <laughs> um, the fluff ball, do you like donuts? I sure do. So you can see just where I've kind of outlined it in colorize. I pressed a bit too hard, I think, but it will be mostly covered up with ink anyway. So yes, let's get my watercolors. <laughs> Galaxy Bunny 19 says, do you have a favorite drawing? I think my favorite that I've done, that I've finished, completed is probably my Samus. I'm not saying it's like a great picture or anything, but in terms of like something that I had a lot of fun with, as well as my Chorus Army piece, I was always proud of that as well. Um, do you think I should get a, an iPad Pro and draw on that? I really don't know anything about iPads. I'm so, I'm not anti-Apple. I just don't own any Apple products whatsoever. So I can't even tell you, I'm sorry. The thing about Twilight Sky is that it's patchy. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. Hey Jellyby, I love your videos, you're sort of good at drawing. Thank you! Um, any tips, tips for YouTube drawing? Um, get yourself a good microphone. You will probably change your visual style a lot. Um, so don't worry about your visuals too much. Like obviously don't upload a really blurry video, make sure everything's in frame. I'll take my own advice. <laughs> yeah, just have fun and have some good audio. Who is your favourite Until Dawn character? <sighs> quite like Sam, but I think my favourite was Chris. Mikai Wolfenkopf, why are you so nice to people who send mean comments? I just think maybe they're just having a bad day and they just need some cheering up and they take it out on people because they don't have any other way of thinking they get attention and it's a shame really. Um, I think giving them the attention can be a bad thing because they will think, oh well, I can treat other people, but when they get the positive reaction, it's like, oh, maybe I don't need to be nasty because I could just, you know, get a positive reaction instead. And they, they I do tend to get a lot of apologies for when people do speak to me quite nastily. <laughs> um, and I don't do it for an apology or anything, but um, I could just, you could just kind of tell when someone's not having the best day and they just want to take it out on someone. And if that someone is me, then, you know, I mean, I'm putting myself on the internet. I'm, you know, I'm going to have to expect negativity. It's going to happen. So I've got to accept that. And if I can deal with them in a pleasant way, it makes everyone sort of feel a bit better about themselves. Um, is B your surname? It is not, but my last initial is B. So I got a hairdryer on this and dried it. And um, so let's continue. So Lulu Meowy H says, what's your favourite thing to draw? Um, my favourite thing to draw is probably faces. Sylvia Mason says, do you have a gem sonar? I do, it's Morganite because my name is Morgan and there is an actual stone called Morganite. And it's a type of beryl, I think, and it's pale pink as well, which is the same colour as my hair. So it just had to be my gem sonar. Jellybee with a picture of Naruto. Is this a Chrisu? Is this like Chrisu and me? If we had a child, it would be this this person. Question, what is your favourite Copic colour? It is B000. Can you please do a tutorial on how to draw hands? Um, I would really, really like to do this, actually. Skellington Girl 98 this is great. I can't wait to see more videos from you. Cool, you're in the next one. <laughs> well, what's your favourite Pokemon game? And what are your top three Steven Universe episodes? My favourite Pokemon game is Soul Silver or Silver, and depending on what mood I am in, Pokemon. And then followed by Platinum. I really, really like Platinum. Top three Steven Universe episodes. Too Many Birthdays, uh, Catch and Release, really like Too Far. You can see a theme with the Peridot. <laughs> hey, it's Ella. Hi, Jellybee. Hello, Ella. I love your channel so much. I've watched you for ages. Where do you do your conventions? I typically go to the larger MCMs, um, just because I, I do work 
at the conventions, like I sell my artwork. So the, the higher the traffic, the more likely I am to go. So London, I do London Expo twice a year uh, in May and October. I do Manchester Expo, which is in July. Uh, I'm doing Liverpool M MCM. This is going to be cool. So Liverpool MCM in um, March. I'm booking the table for that on Monday. Um, and then uh, I do SunnyCon. I'll be doing Glasgow um, MCM. Um, oh, I just wanted to mention this comment very briefly. Um, it makes me really happy that you play Life is Strange and you're cosplaying Chloe. Um, I just wanted to set a picture of my uh, Chloe cosplay. Ding! There we go. And I had my wonderful Max, uh, who um, is being cosplayed by my friend Maxie. She makes the most amazing Max, and we had the most amazing day. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. What's your favourite Pokemon? Mine is Tyranitar. I answered. I actually answered this uh, in the comments, but I had to uh, had to do it again. Um, someone mentioned that their favourite is Resi Five. <gasps> like you have no idea how many people don't like Resident Evil Five, and I know why they don't like it. I completely understand. Like I understand it completely, but it's like oh, it's my favourite. Like the story of it and the characters in it are just oh, so good. <laughs> Will you ever draw any Resident Evil fan art? I did so much Resident Evil fan art um, back in like 2009, <gasps> 2008, 2009. Um, so I would like to do more. Actually, that's the last question. So yeah, um, thanks for being with me while I was drawing this. Now I'm going to record the rest of it for the speed paint and I will upload the speed paint very shortly after this video so subscribe if you like this video um, if you haven't already and you'll get to see the finished piece if you're already subscribed stay tuned and I will upload it probably on the next day um, hopefully if I get it finished and yeah so if you've got any questions for my next Q&A put them in the comment section before uh, before below and um, remember to put the hashtag ask jelly Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video aka the sequel to this. Bye. I will um, be... I think I've done it. Yes. Bye bye. Ah, my hair's everywhere.